good morning. Uh, thank you for being here to talk about a topic I know you're very familiar with by now, uh, in-person early voting here in Ohio. Uh, we are calling on Secretary John Husted to ensure all voters are provided with the opportunity uh, to vote early through Monday before Election Day as the law requires. As many of you recall, the legislature tried for a couple of years to shorten in-person early voting leading up to the 2012 election. They passed House Bill 194, and soon after they passed House Bill 224, both of which changed the end of early voting. Then the people put House Bill 194 up to a referendum. Seeing the writing on the wall, the legislature hastily passed Senate Bill 295 to avoid the referendum and repeal parts of two other bills that resulted in a chaotic mess and two different end times uh, for early voting. In a final desperate attempt by the GOP to cut off the busiest three days of early voting last fall, Secretary Houston ordered all counties to end early voting on Friday before the election. He was sued by President Obama's campaign, and a federal court ordered that early voting continue in accordance with the law through the Monday before Election Day. The court held that the legislature could not take away early voting for only some voters while allowing it to continue for others through the Monday before the election. Secretary Houston at first refused to follow that order. He did not set additional hours for early voting and advised the counties that they did not have to set additional hours either. After being summoned to personally appear before the federal court to account for his actions, he rescinded that advice. The Sixth Circuit affirmed the decision that early voting must continue through the Monday before Election Day. And finally, the United States Supreme Court refused to overturn those lower court orders that early voting must continue through the Monday before Election Day. With our Secretary of State all out of appeals, early voting continued on those final three days, and thousands of Ohioans voted on those days across the state last fall, just like they had in elections past. I'll now uh, turn it over to Senator Neiman.